no, tell the Pope that I can't make it to the Vatican. If he wants to arrest me, tell him to send his minions to Paris. Minions to Paris. Got it. Okay, we're starting in three. Everyone ready? Three, two, one. Hey, welcome to The Reason Show. I'm your host, Dennis Dinero. And we have a fabulous show for you today. We have the brilliant Secretary of State of the Kingdom of Portugal, Sebastião José de Carvalho e Meio, First Marquis of Bombay, First Count Suárez. Uh. Hey, welcome to The Reason Show. And I'm your host, Dennis Dinero. And we have a fabulous show for you today. We have the brilliant Secretary of State of the Kingdom of Portugal, Sebastião José de Carvalho e Meio, first Marquis of Pombal, first Count of Oares. That is one man. <laughs> <laughs> he's, here, he's here to discuss his brilliant survey on the Lisbon earthquake, which, contrary to popular belief, doesn't involve giving credit to God. <laughs> it's about time we had a, sta a statesman on the show with an IQ about uh, that above his chimp. <laughs> Speaking of chimps, John Wellesley is at it again, claiming that demons can sometimes possess humans and speak through them. I guess that's how he explained away telling his wife that, his pant her, that her pantaloons made her butt look fat. <laughs> but seriously, Wellesley goes around the United States, supposedly the land of science and reason, and tells people that the crazies in their communities are demon-possessed. But seriously, I have a newsflash for you, John. Crazy Steve wasn't demon uh, possessed by Lucifer when he chopped up little Timmy. He, had just, he just had a cute case of schizophrenia. But no, John Wellesley is the best of the best, the most intelligent of intelligent, the holiest of holy. There's no theologian who comes close to matching his genius. Methodist, listen closely. If you don't want to go the way of the Puritans, I suggest you should really dump this Wellesley fella. He's soiling co your collective names. John, if you want to see a real case of demon possession, watch this next act. Hey Wellesley, you're doing a great job at recruiting people for my cause. Keep preaching, brother. Keep growing the Methodist church and keep attracting useful idiots. I love your message. Thank you. Okay, we're back. As many of you might know, there was a terrible earthquake in Lisbon a couple of weeks ago. Thousands of people died. There was so much property damage. But what you may not know is that the earthquake happened on All Saints Day. Many churches were destroyed and many deeply pious people were killed. Though this irony is lost on many of the survivors, we, steep, we still deeply care for their pain and suffering. We want you all to donate to the Lisbon Relief Fund. Let's check out how the relief effort is going with our female correspondent, Chelsea Hardy. Take it away, Chelsea. Hey, Dennis. As you can see, though there's been catastrophe and lots of damage, there are a ton of really optimistic citizens who are brave and still here at the site of all the damage. Oh, it hurts. Someone help me, please. It hurts. Chelsea, I think she's hurt. Maybe you should try to help her out. This brave woman has, has managed to survive the damage because of God's will. I have no faith. All I have is pain. It's the pain. Holy Spirit in you. Don't worry. Yeah, I don't think she's all that religious anymore. She gets some help. As you can see, she's perfectly fine, and I really don't need to do anything. I mean, I don't want to get my clothes dirty. Let's move past this death, destruction, and catastrophe and into the beautiful city of Lisbon. It's <laughs> vibrant that, and... Baby? Someone help me! Chelsea, please try to help Laura out. What, do you think I'm a monster? <laughs> Ma'am, have you tried praying? Yes, I'm praying, Jesus, help me! My baby, I've been, I've been praying. Dennis, <laughs> you're still in the air. Well, you know what they say, politeness is next to holiness. Why don't you try being a little more polite? You know, I don't think the Savior likes your attitude. 
Please, Jesus, please. Chelsea, I don't think that's gonna work very well. Why don't, why don't you try to find a, other people help her find her baby, you know? Maybe organize a search committee? Nonsense, Trinity is my rescue squad. You know what, let's try doing a little prayer together. I've, I've, I've brought something with me uh, from the saint of all things lost and found, uh, saint of idiotis, ego sum totalum ineptus. E ego sum totalus ineptus. Cerebrum non habit. Cerebrum non habit. Well, it looks like God didn't will this to happen. I'm really sorry. I, I Wait, are you saying that God wanted to separate the baby from her mother? Diderot, of course I think that God caused this death and destruction and catastrophe. I mean, you know, Lisbon sucked before the earthquake. What was it? Just a city of de Portuguese degenerates and... Isn't Portugal one of the most deeply Catholic kingdoms in Europe? I mean, honestly, this is going to generate spending, which is going to generate aggregate demand, and it's going to bring everyone back up to a pious and Catholic existence. Thank you. That's Chelsea Hardy. Welcome back, folks. Today we have the most venerable statesman of our time his, and his new survey of the Lisbon earthquake. Please welcome Sebastião José de Carvalho de Maio, first Marquis of Bombal, first Count of Juarez. How are you doing, bro? Okay, good. But because by the time I finish pronouncing your name, I got a couple of gray hairs. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, good. By the time I okay, so how so how's Lisbon? Uh, been since the earthquake. Wait, wait, let me ask you, uh, how's your, how are your friends and family doing? Thank God none of them perished. Thank you for asking, though. Uh, some of them had minor injuries, but I, I couldn't have been luckier. Isn't it funny how the friends and family of a high-class statesman are fine when the poorest and most destitute in the same area are dying left and right? <laughs> <laughs> but how the, how's the relief effort going? It's going okay. We've got the best doctors in Europe donating their time effort to come help the injured. We've also got the best engineers and scientists helping to rebuild. Really? What happened with the earthquake? How did it come to happen? Like... I can't tell you exactly, mostly because it would be too long and boring to go into details. <laughs> but we do have the seismology behind it, and we do know that a shift in tectonic plates happened. So it wasn't God and the devil? <laughs> do you think more evil came out of this than good? I believe so. Prepared to be hung as a heretic. <laughs> Do you think they'll uh, bring about a, you know, a great wave of enlightenment through Portugal, this earthquake? I hope so. I think some deeply faithful people will realize that they can believe in God and still know that God isn't punishing them with something bad. But I also think it might lead to um, the passing away of some other antiquated dogmas, such as ventriloquism. So you saw my skit earlier there. <laughs> I didn't, but I wish I had. <laughs> oh, so you saw my uh, little skit earlier. I did, yeah. And I think my Catholic priest would be offended by that. You know what I say, men will never be free until the last king is strangled with the entrails of the last priest. Wow, that's radical. Well, that's how I roll. <laughs> Thank you for coming on, Mr. Cavallo. Mr. Cavallo here. Thank you. What do you think? Sigh. Why did I say sigh? 